do this every day. Hello, guys. My name is Alphonse Foucault. Thank you to be on this episode again. Today, we're going to be talking about the smart LMB. How to connect your smart LMB. Go with me, be with me so that we can see how we can use our smart LMB on our installation. I'm holding on my hand a smart LMB and then here is a smart LMB. You can see the difference between these two smart LMB. This one is a dual smart LMB and this one got actually one, two, three, three outlet of smart LMB and one uni. Uh, uh, on one universal LMB output okay so you can actually do a different between the two the different between the two is just that this one is two outlet and this one is three outlet okay okay now I'm going to show you and tell you when and how to use your smart LMB what I want you to know is that on the smart LMB you connect you connect your Explorer it can be your Explorer one it can be your Explorer 2, it can be your Explorer 3, or it can be your Explorer Ultra. So those Explorer with IS-20, you connect your Explorer only, I say, only with your smart LMB. Or if you are using the dual universal LMB, you have to use the smart multiple switch. On this case, when we got a smart LMB, that means we got a good LMB to connect our Explorer. If you got any Explorer using IS-20, your smart LMB will be what you need to connect your Explorer. Like this one I'm holding in my hand, we need a smart LMB to connect. If you check actually on your Explorer, you always see that they always say uni cable input, uni cable input, meaning you can only use smart LMB to get your uni cable input output. This one got three uni cable output from this smart LMB. And the, the, the dual one I show you got only two uni cable input. With this one, we can connect two Explorer. Yeah, we can connect one Explorer here, another Explorer here. So that means if you are using two Explorer in the house, you can connect two Explorer here. If you are using a S model decoder like this one, S model decoder or like this one you can also use uni cable you can also use because this one is compatible with uni cable and universal uh, LMB but always remember when you are using the smart LMB with S model you have to change the setting the LMB type must be always on uni cable if you are using the smart LMB it must be on universal if you are using a universal single LMB that was not the subject so i want to show you again how to use your smart lmb okay i want you to notice that when you buy a smart lmb it come out in the box and you're gonna see written on it 30 user band three uni cable output and one universal output like this one if you open it in your box when you open the box of your smart lmb what you get there, you get a smart LMB like this, brand new, and you got a paper inside. That paper is very important. I will tell you just now why that paper is important, okay? Now, when you check your LMB, you can see the outlet ending by uh, blue color. These three outlets. So that is a... This is one uni cable, one uni cable, one uni cable. So it makes a total of three uni cable. But you have to notice that there's an outlet there in white. That outlet is a universal output. It's not a uni cable. So this one, this particular one cannot work with Explorer. It's only this one ending by blue color who can work with your Explorer. Okay? This one will work with your s model and your ordinary decoder this one and which is good on this one this small decoder the s model s4 s5 s6 it can work either with uni cable or it can work with universal so that is a little bit trick on it okay now if you check on your lmb it's written it's written here uni cable a b c uni cable uni cable a b c that's mean one two three 
A, B, C. That are unique cable. That's the one we're going to work with your Explorer, not this one. And you check this one. This one is even written there, universal. This one can work with your single decoder. Single, even the old, old model, you can work with it. And new model, which is the S model, you can work with it. And only in the condition with S model, you must identify that you are on universal or unique cable. Okay? Now, when you connect outside your LMB on your dish like this one, you're going to turn it. You're going to turn it to 4 o'clock because IS20 in South Africa is on 4 o'clock. Most of LMB must face like this. So when you change your LMB, make sure it face like this. Not like this. Not like this. Not like this. If you're in front of the LMB, it must face not like this because if it's like this, is facing 12 o'clock if it's like this is facing uh if it's like this is facing six o'clock if it's like this is facing three o'clock so we go on three o'clock and then we go a little bit down this is if you don't have a a, a a meter for satellite you don't have a signal finder you don't have a, a satellite multimeter so you can actually with your visual uh, test you can put it on four o'clock like this i believe you have set your dish and then you got your is20 when you have your is20 i believe you're going to tighten you're going to lock the signal so that it can be stable you lock your signal and now you have to connect your cable you have to connect your cable sorry to your uh unit cable you're gonna connect your cable to your unit cable let's connect a one unit cable to our dish we connect one unit cable to our dish okay and then what's gonna happen what is good with a what is a good with a smart LMB it make you not to grind a lot of cable you remember if you use the dual LMB you you run a lot of cable but this one what is good with smart LMB you run only one cable so if you got this smart LMB and you want to connect your Explorer in the house, you only need one cable from your smart LMB to the port written here, unique cable. So you're going to run only one cable to your, you run only one cable to your decoder. So if you got a smart LMB on your dish, you got only one Explorer in your house. You're going to just run one cable and connect your accessory here to link with your TV and call multi-choice for the activation of your decoder. That's it. But now, if you got more than one decoder, what do you do? You connect this one and you're going to usually connect another cable. You're going to connect another cable to your uh, decoder. So meaning we're going to connect another we're going to connect another uh, unique cable to a second decoder. Okay? We're going to connect this decoder. Look here. The first decoder is working. And your second decoder, like this one. Second decoder. Like a small decoder. It can be another explorer like this. Or it can be a small S model like this. What you do, you run a second cable to that decoder. You run the second decoder, the second cable to that decoder. That's it. Easy as easy as you can see. So now you got two decoder connecting your smart LMB, your Explorer and your S model decoder. These two decoder can work on S view, and that's why the S view will be. You don't need another device to make your uh, your two decoder work. All you have to do now is to call multi choice and activate these two decoder. They will link these two decoder uh, by themselves. Remember, I was saying to you that inside the box, you always have something. That paper is very important. I'll show you just now. But now, you have two decoder in your house. But you can, st if you want to link a third decoder in the house, you still just need another cable only. You put another cable on the, your. Your, because it's, remember it's A, B, C, yeah. You're going to link another cable there. You're going to link another cable there. Just link another cable. 
you link another cable and then you put on your tech decoder you can put on your tech decoder and put now the cable at the back and then i remember i just want to let you know that it can be even three explorer that you want to connect in your house so look i'm going to connect in my in my house three decoder in one lmb using three cable only and this three decoder will be sitting in the different room and then i will be linking with three television and then i will have only one dish one lmb and three cable and this three decoder will work in one account so you can see using the smart lmb will reduce the cabling in the house we're going to use only three cable to connect our three decoder and then we got we're going to have a a good quality of the signal on the three decoder it can be three explorer and remember if you want to link three decoder in the same house in a one account you always have to put one explorer between the three decoder you can use three explorer or you can use one explorer with single two decoder okay so that's how you can connect your uh, smart lmb and one thing i want to tell you again remember we connect three we use a b c but we still have a universal lmb here let's say if you got an ovhd decoder at home you can use one cable here and supply your ovhd decoder so you maybe have four decoder in your house in one smart lmb okay so now i was telling you that this paper this paper is very important why because with this paper you're gonna give the code to this three decoder to work after you do the installation this is what we call configuration when you do the configuration that is the time you're gonna make this three decoder to work so on this on this paper coming with your smart lmb we got the user band written there zero one two three four each user band each each unique cable like this got three user band so one cable like this got three user band going to this decoder this one got three user band go to that one three user band why three user band each decoder must be set with three user band why especially the explorer because the explorer needs one user band for software need the second user band for viewing and another third user band for recording because the explorer view have a software and record we need three user band to do the setup of the explorer the decoder who doesn't who doesn't uh, do the, the 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 record also need actually two user bands to work because it still need the software and then it still need the user band to view okay so you are gonna use this paper to allocate a user band to your first primary decoder you have to allocate a user band for the second one and to allocate your user band for the third one so for instance if you see on this paper the user band 0 got index 0 and the frequency 1210 and then if you set this explorer in the factory mode it's going to give you 012 user band now but you have to go and set the second one and the different user band than the explorer and you must set the third one on the user band different than the second one and then the explorer because if the user band are not well set you're gonna get a conflict between the three decoder so i advise you to know how to set your user band so set a different user band in each decoder to avoid conflict some of you will have a problem with your installation you'll be thinking your lmb is damaged or something wrong on the installation while it's just a problem of user band so you have to know how to set your user band you can use this because all the index of user band are on your box of lmb okay and then if you can't manage it that's where you're going to call a technician to come and assist you or you can call a call center of multi choice i think they are very welcome to even tell you how to set your user band so if you do your hard work of installation like i show you here if you can do your hard work like this believe me you will be able to have run your three decoder or four in your house who's working that's why i said to you it was very good very very good to know how to connect your smart lmb if this video was grateful for you 
if this video was helpful for you, please do subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. I believe in this channel we're going to build a very intellect community. Like I said to you, before we end the year, today is the 31st of December 2020. Now we're going to 2021. I got a one message to share with you. This message is from the bottom of my heart. I decide. It's not a resolution, guys, but it's an advice I want to share with you. I decide that together, I mean together, we're going to add value in our daily life. We're going to add value of what we do. We're going to add value of our knowledge. We have to learn just a little thing. We have to do something, just a little thing, every day. That should be a commitment for 2021. Let's do something very little to add value on our life. Something very little to make our better tomorrow. Every day, commitment of doing something little to add value on our life every day for 2021. And we're going to take that little thing we do every day. We're going to multiply that little thing, multiply by 365 days in the year 2021. And on the end of that year of 2021, we're going to see ourselves proud of our achievement. Guys, if you want to share that knowledge, if you want to share that idea of adding our, our, our adding value in our life every day, just little, so that we can be proud this time, next year's 2021. This community must grow. With you, I know we will grow more and we will add value in our life every day. Keep on this platform. My name is Alphonse Foucault. I salute you. I'll meet you in the next video. Thank you. Have a very, 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 very happy new year, guys. Catch up next year.